Hello and welcome back to Worlds. Matt versus someone Buffalo. Both teams at 2 1. It's going to be very interesting. Group B, obviously, very competitive. Let's see if Europe versus VVCS can bring a banger to us. Already looks good. We have Benji behind the enemy lines here. Let's see. We have a few interesting picks. We'll get to that in a second, of course. But uh, yeah, let's see this level 3 fight here. Looks very good for someone here. They're collapsing. And uh, yeah. Okay. Early advantage. Who got the kill? Ah, the support. Okay. Doesn't really matter here. Niski. Oh, wait. He doesn't have flash. Uh, yeah, just a couple seconds off. Can we talk about the champions here? Give me a moment, please. Okay, so come on, stop, stop fighting for one minute, man. Uh, okay, connects. So Taki is going to fall down potentially here. Froggy with the W, not finding any uh, with the E. Sorry, uh, W still on cooldown from earlier. And uh, yeah, Mad Lions fighting back, fighting back. Maybe they can catch more kills here. Uh, we can assume that a one for one trade though, that's quite nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, Flash is invested, another kill comes up. Okay, we get a moment of rest, maybe? Because we have finally some Seraphine in the bot lane, very nice. Uh, Alistair making his return as well. Nice uh, there by Hasmet, but wouldn't matter, right? He burns down. Okay, it doesn't get burned down. Nice timing with his ult, but not enough. And uh, yeah. If you look at the gold lead, just slight advantage there for Matt. Maybe they can win the steam fight here. Looks quite dicey, but the AoE's going in strong. But Hasmet has no support from his team. One for one though overall. Let's see, like Niski is just so tanky here. And uh, yeah, the base damage reigns supreme with the Seraphine shields. The queen has descended and sending the buffaloes down the drain. Ay, ay, ay. Even though they have some really good team fighting tools. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough. Um, Seraphine Hecarim, quite good, quite good. And uh, yeah, running into uh, the uh, Swain also doesn't really help. Someone Buffalo, yeah, their team comp is uh, kind of like a shotgun, right? Like you go in, use your old swans, either you win or you lose. Because in terms of like consistency in a team fight, there's not really much going on. So uh, yeah. Should be good for Mad Lions here. Uh, even get a flash there now. And okay, I mean, that is a good one. Three men old there, but uh, maybe they get Kaiser here. Niski, ooh, is getting bursted down now with the focus fire. Can they get something in the end? Yeah, I get the Drake, so that's something. At least they're denying the stacking there of that objective. Armut he is close to Meganar. Flash, all possible. But he just gets bursted down beforehand. Three men old by Unforgiven, though. And uh, yeah, still overall team fight looks really good for someone. Niski obviously was killed early in the mid lane and uh, yeah, couldn't join this fight. So um, yeah, nice clapback, finding a pick and then punishing an overextension. Kaiser also sadly falls here. But uh, yeah, uh, Swain is just uh, uh, yeah, a decent champion. Let's say, let's, say, uh, let's keep it at that. Obviously, uh, depends on uh, champion choices of the opponent, but Swain can, uh, can be quite good here in the current meta. Okay, Hasmet gets into the backline, but uh, the AoE not so good. This should be a good team fight for Mad Lions, I feel. Uh, yeah. The shotgun has to kill, or they need to get the pick earlier. Otherwise, it's really difficult. Like, Hasmet even has trouble beating Elioia as a jungler. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, he got a couple of kills, right? If you look at the scoreboard right now. But, oh god. Yeah, six kills. Oof, phew, yo. That should be Baron as well. Jungler dead. Like, maybe? Nah, there shouldn't be anything these two can do. They won't even be there in time. If they over... What? Froggy? Okay, it's just donating his life over. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, anything like that was definitely not needed. Uh, and his item build as well. Oh my god, I need to censor the uh, the bottom line there. Um, in the meantime, uh, Armut or Narmut is getting killed. Eloya here. Ooh, nice timing by Hasmet. That's two more kills, but uh, again, nothing to pick up. Niski in the meantime. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's going to take a while. Who's going to TP in Hasmet? I mean, Hasmet at least has some damage, but Niski is going to stall for so much time. Now even Unforgiven comes around. Maybe they can turn on him. Nope. Oh my god, he's just so insanely strong, man. I've saw my fair share of Swains, but phew, yo. he got some good stacks with his uh, W early on. I would assume 44. Yeah, that's yeah. Now deciding fight here. I mean, it's sadly for someone. Uh, someone? Yeah, someone Buffalo. I'm com confused. Uh, it's not the best Drake, not the best soul to get, but maybe with a three-man ult. They can get something, but Shogun gets interrupted. And that's the support down. Armored also gets a W onto the backline. Shogun, what are you doing stepping forward like that? But let's not kid ourselves. This team fight was lost a couple of minutes ago. Uh, someone, they found some nice like maneuvers and picks here and there. Mad Lions, obviously, there's just the fourth seed of the LEC. It's, uh, they're not like... Yeah, the cleanest team at times but uh yeah that should be about it 30 seconds the wave is small uh i mean yeah like that should just be it and uh yeah matt um kind of surprising maybe for some uh performing relatively good here in group b um obviously they have not uh, played drx yet lost their game against rng but uh yeah good for them good for them and Good for Europe, right? After uh, the devastating upset uh, Fnatic suffered, that's a good win on the board. And uh, yeah, we're going to see each other with more Worlds content. If you enjoyed, till then my friends, stay safe.